Kelvin Thomas, obviously the news, the big news of the last few days has been for your Bristow becoming lifetime president and stepping down immediately as, as chairman of the football club. What does that essentially mean both for Talk United and, and for yourself and your role within the club? Well, first of all, you know, it's a positive for, for Thea and the club, you know, for what she's done. Um, so her take on that role as lifetime president, she still comes to the games and, you know, she's, that, is, that was one of her motivations um, really was going to games home and away. So that's, you know, that's important for her for what she's done. Um, her stepping down as chairman uh, with immediate effect was, I think, was the right decision for, for the best interest of the club. I think there's a... You know, there's a reality that this is a very sort of busy time for the club, and 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 her being there kind of grade the area, and myself as well being there kind of grade the decision making process. So I think what that added some clarity, so that now the board know, you know, know what decisions need to be made. They, they and they and they're free to make those decisions as 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 we go forward. Before we sort of perhaps look to the the future and what that holds, over the sort of two or three months you've been in involved in the operational side of the club what do you think you've, you've tried to bring to the table if you like uh, I think it's just a bit of experience um, you know some decision making within that time I think we managed to make some positive changes on in some of the structures in here and hopefully we we, we were able to do that um, and and maybe got a bit of a fresh impetus and you know we did some marketing stuff and, and which helped and hopefully opened a few eyes to see that things that can be achieved Within within a, within the club structure, because I think you know, obviously we are heading tapering towards the end of the season, and there will naturally come the summer recess. But when we go again in the new season, one of the things that we really need to take forward is bringing Torquay United out into the community, and that means the players, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It means everybody, and and I think that was I think we managed to do that a little bit, and the you know, results haven't gone as well as we anyone would have liked from 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 myself from there from the board from Chris you know everybody everybody's part of that and, and, and haven't it hasn't gone as well as we would have liked but you know in terms of getting players out there and you know getting out in the community I think we've started to make some inroads and I think the club is making some good inroads the community scheme is is uh, is really having an impact I think and, and, and the players getting involved in that has been a real positive obviously the you know the major story and the major theme over the next few weeks is going to be investment and who is going to step into the breach for want of a better expression can you tell us a little update as where we're up to on that yeah no it's been you know it is a process there is a reality to all of it is uh, it's not a you know it's it a football club is a commitment to take on and we have to make sure that someone's prepared to do that and able to do that so we're you know we're, we're probably talking to five groups at different levels or five different you know, groups of people at different levels um, about about the club um, and about taking on you know, theatre shareholding and taking on the responsibility and, and trying to drive the club forward. So that's really the focus of my role now is to, is to is to concentrate on that over you know over the next you know it's an important period up until the end of the season. I think it's it would be good to have some somebody or some solution in place by the end of the season because I think. The club needs that, you know. It's a very, you know, everyone's kind of on tenter hooks right now, and that's understandable. That's just the, the situation the club's in, um, and uh, you know, and who that is and what that is, I don't think we really know. But you know, I'm I'm, I'm meeting people, you know, at the moment. I got back from the states. I've met people, who, you know, yesterday, and, and and I'm meeting some people today, including the the, the trust and the fans group. So. It is a case of nothing's changed in terms of uh, of what the requirements are, but it's you know we've moved some of those conversations along a little bit, and you know some people have uh, have stepped up and said they're interested. Some people have said they're not interested, but that's part of the process. So it's you know there the ongoing discussion, but there is a reality to it that I don't think we're going to find a, you know a crown prince of somewhere to come in tomorrow and take the club over and everything's going to be rosy. It's you know there's a process to this. That, that 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 may take a little bit of time because it's obviously you have to strike a balance between finding the right person or people to take it on while and obviously you've got to do all your due diligence on that and in that meantime there's naturally going to be uncertainty within the club and also for the fan base yeah no absolutely and and, and unfortunately that's unavoidable that I, you know, I haven't got a magic wand that says i can 
that the, the, the football club is going to be is fine, you know, is perfect, and that all the decisions are going to get made, and they're all going to be the right decisions over the next few months. You know, no one's got that 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 wand, as it were. Um, but you know, I think you've got a current board that are, you know are working very hard, that you know, that, that are trying trying their best to to make the right decisions given the set of circumstances, because it's tough for them as well, because they don't necessarily want to make decisions which you know hamper any sort of deal or transaction. So I'm also working closely with them to to make sure that you know we we're, we're going, working in hand in hand to try and find the right solution. So so and and I think they have worked hard over over the period. So you know fair play to them for stepping up and 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 doing that. And I suppose it's a case of watch this space really and see what happens. Yeah, pretty much. You know, there is a lot of work going on in the background um, and a lot of conversations that are happening, as there would be. And, uh, you know, it is a wonderful opportunity for someone. And that's why, you know, to have five or six groups that we've spoken to and, and are speaking to is, 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 is great, really. It's testament to what Talker United is. And, and it's an opportunity to, to, to own a football club and, you know, an opportunity to, to try and drive it forward and, and uh, be successful here. Well, Kelvin, all the very best in the process. Thanks, and Tim. Thank and you very uh, much. Cheers.